Madness. Remember the Exodus 6 and 3? You remember that? The Almighty God? But my name was not known to them? You know what I'm talking about? They look confused. It's the same guy. <laughs> so when you really, when you say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're really saying, you know, you're saying this talking to the same person twice. Really. Yes, you really doing. <laughs> Think about it. You remember he's saying that I will give you my God name. Right. <laughs> that means that the God you've been serving was the son all along, simple jigs. Yes, definitely. You see that? Hey man. Look, the scripture said we are here to uh, defend the gospel. And and we're supposed to know the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This, this is madness. It's complete madness, man. And I'm sure you brothers that are in the truth, the 100% truth, are getting sick of it. You can clearly see that th this group has taken a purse, a bag, however the hell you want to say it. You know, you know ha again, however the hell you want to say it, man. These dudes are compromised, right? First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, the Father's name. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the Son's name. All right? The one mediator, right? Double honors to the men who rule well. Healthy Shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Let's go here first. Because he has something to say. They always got something to say, man. And of course, you always know it's uh, you know pointed towards uh, uh, the men at Great Millstone. And I'm just being honest. We, you know, I ain't gonna lie about it. It is what it is. Okay. Now, why would this scripture be here if when you say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, you talking about the same person? It's it's a it's a, a multitude of scriptures, a multitude of scriptures that go into that they two different people, but they're one what in in the same. Uh, same mind, the same spirit. All right, the same understanding. Not the same person. You see, this is uh, you know. Before I read this, is Aaron on the side of a uh, what they are, what that group is, man. It basically is, is a damn black church. You know, mixed in with a little a little Hebrew Israelite, man. But uh, uh, you know, the, uh, Christianity tells you that they're one, the same. They, they, that they that they are the same. All right. But no, they are two separate entities. Matter of fact, the scripture said no man knows the time except for the father. OK, so why would this scripture be here? Let's go ahead and read this because this madness what he just said. You know, they sit up there on the high horses, literally, you know, uh, 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 <laughs> as Apostle Gabar said, a uh, 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 King Nate. Right. You know, you know, uh, what he he was a bishop and then he became a general and was he going to be a, a five star general now? I mean, come on, man, a six star a president, CEO, which basically that's what he is. Is a CEO of a company. OK, and we're going to look that up right here in a minute. This is Proverbs 30, verse four, who have ascended up into heaven or descended, who have gathered the wind in his fist, who have bound the waters in a garment. Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? Who's that his name? That's Yahweh. And what is his son's name? If thou can if tell. Why did it say his name and the son's name? It's like it. Lizzie. No, 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 no. Damn it. Always. All right. Why would it say what is his name and what is his son's name? If thou can if tell. Why would it say that? If you say, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, what they're doing is playing with the names of the Lord, man. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You tempting and you playing around. You, don't play around. Don't play around with his name. Don't play around with these words. Don't play around with this Bible. None of this is a joke. This is life and death. We are here to warn you. And what? Be see. fully, Salakia, be fully to set in the defense of the gospel. You heard me? You know, as they said down south, you heard me. All right, so like, let me put my this phone on uh, silent because I can't answer right now. I'm in the spirit. Exodus 20, verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord Yahweh thy power in vain. For the Lord Yahweh thy power will hold him gu guiltless. You see that? Guiltless, Salakia, that take of his name in vain. Now, how does the whole entire earth do that? They ignorantly call him God and Jesus. All right. And I hate even saying that J word. All right. Those are titles. 
Those are not what his name is. Then he say he manifested his name to his prophets. All right. And what? And they shall call his name what? Yahabashai, right? Come on, man. It's madness. John 17, verse 6. It is right here. Red letters. Let's go. Let's get it. It's right here in the Bible. All you got to do is read it. But see, well, that's what simple believeth every word as the scripture said. When you hang upon uh, the flashiness and, you know, you, you, the, the, the platinum rims and the platinum chains, you know, the, the uh, beautiful changeable suits of apparel, right? The, the, gar the flawless garments and all that. We're supposed to be what? Uh, teaching in what? Sackcloth, man. You see? John 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name. Unto the men which thou hast giveth me out of the world. Who's, who, is this red letters? Is Yahweh speaking here? Who the world ignorantly calls Jebus? Correct. Let's read it again. Let's clear this up right here because it's madness what they just said. Period, point blank. Okay? <laughs> again, man, it's simple. They're going to uh, uh, get that, you know, that phrase that I use from time to time. Hook, line, and sinker, man. They just soak it all in. The glitz and the glamour, man. You still of, of this world. We're supposed to get the hell away from this world. You know, uh, have, be renewed. All right? Through the scriptures, man. John 17, verse 6, yet again. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. Who's he talking to? <laughs> Thine they were, and thou givest them me. Who? Yahweh. See that? And they have kept thy word. He said, I have manifested Hit your name, thy name, unto the men that thou givest me out of the world. Hello. That's two separate people. My goodness. Matthew 24, verse 36. Red letters again. But of the day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but the Father only. Two different people. This is red letters, right? But as in the days of Noah, or Noe, were so shall also the summon, the coming of the son of man be. And, and, and yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, and that's what's going on right now, man. You, you just look around, everybody just uh, happy and giddy. All right? Let's look, let's look at that word, giddy. They giddy, man, just like in the days of Noah. You see, giddy. It's like, yeah. Let's do it this way. I'm not sure if that's the way it's spelled. You see, make someone... Feel excited to the point of uh, disorientation. Woo! Hey, that's sort of heavy right there. Yeah, these people are giddy, man. They disoriented. They don't understand. They don't know the Holy One of Israel. They have no fear. And when you're playing around with the names like that, and that group has done that before several times. It's been a bunch of videos where they play around. There was one video when they was in the woods. They were they were in the woods. And they say, look what I found. And then they was all playing around. And the name was spelled, uh, the, the name Yahweh was spelled backwards. All right. That's the demons on them dudes, man. All right. Let's see. This one, uh, adjective. All right. Having a sensation or whirling and the tendency to fall or stagger. Dizzy. Woo. Giddy. Right. These people are giddy right now. Mm -mm -mm. I had to look that up. Never done that before. Okay. Let's go here. Matthew 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name. What? Yahweh Shai. All right. That letter J wasn't invented. You walk, you walk around in those days when Yahweh Shai was walking the earth. Right. As Yahweh Shai, you know. OK, because we all understand reincarnation. And you should by now. You walk around talking about Jebus. Where Jebus, where, where's that man Jebus at? They man, they would look at you like you crazy. Like, I, don't even, I don't even know what that means. All right, if, this is crazy, man. For he shall save his people from their sins. What we just read, let's go back. His people from their sins. The blood of Hamashiach, Yahawashai. That he shed for what? For himself first, for his sins first, when he was in other bodies, right? Solomon, you know, others. You know, Mel Melchizedek, actually, Melchizedek was without uh, mother and father. All right? So that was a heavenly, you know, that was a... a a heavenly body there, if you will. But let's read it again. John 17, verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou givest them me. And they have kept thy word. You see that? And they have what? They have kept thy word. See? Save his people 
from uh, sent forth the son, Yahweh Shai, save his people from their sins, his precious blood, man. All right. Let's go here. Look this up. Let's see. Give your good cause a great start. Form 501c3 organization became eligible for grants. All right. And we all know the love of money is the beginning of evil. Right. So let's go here. Learn how to start a nonprofit so you can get 501c3. See, this is backwards. Everything. The whole earth is out of course because the, uh, the wicked are in authority. This is backwards. So they, they call it what a nonprofit. But you're going to gain more if you don't have to pay taxes. You're going to gain more if you can get grants. It says it right here. Oh, my goodness. Tax exempt status. Be eligible for grants and much more. Starting at nine, uh, nine was ninety nine dollars plus filing fees. That's ninety nine dollars. Nothing. You see, kickstart your nonprofit in minutes. And that's what uh, some of these groups have done. Now, you got uh, other groups. I don't know if the, if the Wi-Fi, whatever. Uh, there was I don't know, man. I don't know. There was one video. It, this was this had to be down eight, nine years ago. It was one video I was watching. That's back when they were called. Uh, what was it? Uh, I forget what their uh, their group was called back then. They was on the boardwalk. Uh, I think it was Baltimore. I don't know. They, they were somewhere. And, uh, you know, it, that the the leader, I forget what his name is. Anyway, he was doing a lesson and he kept looking and he was going where he was going to hell off, man. It, like he knew he was going off, but he kept looking like over to the left of him like somebody was coaching him through it so i don't know man you know i'm not gonna be a tail a tail bearer or nothing like that you know i can't prove that that group you know has taken a bag or whatever but some of the shit that these uh, uh these uh, uh groups say man is suspect bro you know just straight up anyway well, yeah that was something else i wanted to look up there was also a video let's see if i can find that because I don't have that many scriptures left anyway. Let me see if I can find that video. <clears throat> Please excuse me. And when I got that clip from G uh, from this brother, GMS, a lion's whelp, man. Shalom to that brother. Okay. So, Salakia. Uh, let's go 501c3. 501. Salakia. C3. Application, no, let's see. There was a video, a certain video, it's probably not here anymore. It was talking, it was this Jake talking about we're gonna come together and, and they gotta do this and they gotta do that. They gotta, uh, what do you call it? Uh, damn muzzle over their mouth, man. Had to start a 501c3. Probably not gonna be able to find it. He said, Joshua calls the, the people back. Yeah, come on, man. You, you going off. Any woman sitting sit beside you reading scriptures, that's going off too. Exposing, let's see what this is right here. Hmm. By meeting the requirements of a 501c3, the church is allowed to avoid paying federal taxes on their earnings. Uh, this benefits them in several ways, uh, which is uh, donors can use their contributions to the church as a tax. Oh, boy. That's definitely making a covenant with the damn devil. Anyway, yeah, there was there was this to this is a totally different video I wanted to pull up, but it's clear to see I'm not gonna be able to do that. They probably there it is right there. Call hello yah by Shim Yah Shah. Yeah, check this out. Fair use, fair use. All right, I'm not doing this video. I'm making this video for any monetary gain. Not at all. Fair use. Hmm. It's good to see you. Good morning. Good to be with you. So you've got this big summit tomorrow. It's 
essentially, what is your message to several hundred clergy members, I understand, who will be there? Yes, we'll have uh, representatives from nine denominations who actually pastor somewhere in the neighborhood uh, of about uh, 10 million people. And uh, hmm. we are going to, first of all, uh, equip them with the information they need to know uh, about what they can say and what they cannot say. Boom. We're going to equip them with the information they need to know about what they can say and what they cannot say. Hey, the scripture said, brought or not. Hey, man, you can't brought, you can't brought a Hebrew Israelites tongue. We speaking 100 percent truth, fully, fully set in the defense of the gospel. You just heard that what they can say and what they cannot say. All right. And who is a, who, it's a federal it's a federal thing, man. All right. So who's in charge of that? Esau, Edom, Babylon. This is Babylonian. This is worshiping idols, man. See that? All giving them guidance on what they can and cannot do. And one of those big things they cannot say or, or, or not to teach is what? Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. There's power in those names. Scripture said uh, his name is dreadful among the heathen. Also says what? It says what? That our people have become worse than the damn heathen. See? You, are, you see that right there? That's crazy, man. Exodus 23, verse 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. You see that? They signed on the dotted line. Them Jakes, some of them Jakes are going to take the damn uh, MOTB, man. Come on, man. Thou shalt, let's read it again. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. And who are their gods? Who is Esau Edom's gods? Their idols, money, oil, and drugs. Remember? Poppies, poppies. That, that's another reason why they went over to Afghanistan. All right. And as soon as well, that was around 2001, 2002, something like that or whatever, you know, and right after that, what was the OP, you know, epidemic makes sense. It makes sense. First Timothy six and verse 10 for the love of money is the root of all evil. All right. See, they still in this world, man. They worried about fleshly things, man. You put that shit off. Call all your by shim shot. Damn this place, man. All right. Which while some uh, coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many and uh, with many what sorrows. All right. So in that day, man, you're going to wish you didn't make a covenant with the devil and, and then in a double and a triple and a quadruple and down on that. Uh, all you I see is it's in, a, it's in their name. It's in their name, man. Goodness gracious. Luke. 6 and verse 24, red letters, but woe, woe means destruction unto you that are rich, for ye have received your constellation. Let's look that word up, constellation. Let's look the word up, constellation. Okay. Uh, that's not the right word on uh, Salakia. No, that's not the right word, Salakia, for that. Let's do it this way. Text to speak sucks. All right. Yeah. Constellation. All right. The comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment. Now, that's not really what I wanted. I see a person, a thing providing comfort to a person uh, who has suffered. OK, well, yeah, I, I guess that is what I wanted because they have received that consolation. All right. Here we give you some crumbs and you, all you got to do is not teach the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You got to tell everybody uh, uh, that, you know, this and that. You got to be more like a Christian uh, 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 what do you call them uh, Christian organization, basically. That's what it is. And I believe on their um, application, it said that they were uh, they were registered as Muslim, man. You can't make this shit up. All right. A round or, co uh, or a contest. Or a tournament. No, nah, that's not what I wanted. Salakia. I got what I wanted out of that. You know, we'll close out right here. 2 Samuel 7, verse 26. The scripture said, A love of money is the root of all evil, man. All right? This is crazy, man. Bunch of madness. But we're here fully, to, fully set in defense of the gospel. That's what's up. 
All right. And let thy what name be magnified forever, saying what? That's, a, that's another thing. They're not magnifying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're not magnifying his name. They know what the name is. They, they say it. They, 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 know what is, they know what the names are. All right. And I know there's power in those names, man. They plan. You play. You play too much. <laughs> you know, like when you were children, you, you, you just thump somebody in the back of the head, or you know, or, you know, play around. Or you play too much. You playing too much. Except for this, this is not a joke, man. You talking about the Holy One of Israel? You talking about His only begotten Son? This is life and death here. You don't play around with that. Call hello, Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai. He'd destroy your ass for that, man. 2 Samuel 7, verse 26. And let thy name be magnified forever, saying the Lord Yahweh of hosts is the power over Israel. That's right. All right. And let the house of thy servant David be established before thee. Man, that's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'll leave it right there. Hopefully this lesson was edified, man. Y'all better quit playing around with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's name. Talking about don't hey don't uh, you uh, you you got uh, Hebrew names? You playing too much, man. First and foremost, give it all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaha Kwadash. Yet again, double honors to the to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone. Yeah, I said it. You know, of whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, man. And every chance you get, chant this place down. And all the covenants that these Israelites have made with the damn devil. Because it's going to come to naught. The scripture said, if it's be of men, it's going to come to a to nothing, a screeching halt. All right? Again, every chance you get, chant this place down. Kwam Yasharala and Wah Abai Baba. Boom! You're going to put some respect on Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai's names. Shalom.